Hello guys, I hope you're well. hope you had a great Christmas and a great New Year too, uh, celebrating wherever you are in the world. And I'd just like to say a massive thank you to everybody that supported me throughout the year. Um, it's been incredibly inspiring to have you guys along, commenting, liking, and really pushing me on to get out there and create more content, something that I absolutely love doing. So for that, I just want to say a massive thank you, and I really, really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I really do. It's just, uh, yeah, it just inspires me week on week to get out there and create. Um, so today I'm going to be taking a look at five of my best moments that I shared with you guys on YouTube throughout the whole of the year. Um, these are not necessarily my best photographs, but my best adventure photography trips that I did this year. And I thought it'd be great to just, you know, break those down, show you a few of the highlights, a few of the photographs from there. Leave the links for those videos in the description as well. So I know many of you are new to the channel, so you might not have checked those videos out. And uh, yeah, it'd be great if you could do. And then at the end, uh, we're going to check out some of your images as well, because I know many of you have hashtagged Ian Worth on Instagram, and that's been also fantastic for me to be able to see your work as well. So uh, the people that have hashtagged Ian Worth, I've been able to take a look at their images, and I'm going to share some of those images with you at the end. Now, there was over 250 images submitted on the hashtag Ian Worth, uh, so it's not going to be possible for me to show all of them but i've picked a few out that i really like and i hope you guys can appreciate that you know i just probably couldn't have the time to you know show all of those but i do encourage everybody to maybe give each other a follow as well and just help build the community because it's such a great community that we've got here and everybody's commenting and you know having conversations down in the comment section and that really does inspire me to keep creating and uh, it's down to you guys that this channel can keep going so yeah massive massive thanks to everybody so let's kick off straight away and get into the first video and then i'll come back to you after the videos have played out and uh, yeah we'll take a look at your images so this was my first ever trip to the lake district and uh, I can't believe I've never visited the Lake District before. It's just a location I've never managed to get to, but it's always been on my list of places to go. And it really didn't disappoint. I completely looked out with the weather. It was just purely beautiful conditions. After spending the night car camping, which is never ideal in sub-zero temperatures, um, I was there in the right position and the right location for some beautiful, beautiful light. There were cloud inversions over Coniston water. Fortunately, I didn't get to photograph them because I just couldn't get to a decent position, but that didn't matter. Just being in such a stunning location with such gorgeous conditions was, uh, it was just unbelievable, it really was, and I was so fortunate. So I just completely looked out to get these conditions. Even though it was a blue sky day, it didn't really matter because, you know, the, the conditions and the, and the scenery just was so beautiful, it really didn't detract away from the fact that there was no details in the sky at all so yeah absolutely beautiful beautiful day I had there uh, on day two I visited Westwater as well which is another truly stunning location unfortunately my trip was cut short I did spend uh, plan to spend a couple more days in Westwater shooting some of the gorgeous mountains there but unfortunately the weather turned temperatures rose and the rain set in and yeah, cut my trip short, but a truly, truly fantastic trip. I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Probably my favorite experience of the whole year was taking on the mighty Trivan in Snowdonia. Now Snowdonia is one of my favourite places for landscape photography in the world period. It just is a fantastic place, especially the areas around the Ogwen Valley. There's just so much uh, diversity, there really is. There's so many different landscape opportunities. And it's just an incredible place to be and hike. Uh, Trivan is uh, particularly difficult hike I think it's not easy uh, but it's so rewarding and uh, yeah if you don't mind a bit of a scramble and a bit of a hike over rough terrain then it certainly is uh, an absolutely outstanding mountain to to get to now I took the southerly approach to the summit the northerly approach is a little bit more difficult 
but if you get good conditions like I had it really is truly remarkable and the views from the summit are absolutely spectacular they really are I managed to capture a few really nice photographs while I was there as well which I was pleased with but I definitely will be returning to some of those locations to see if I can improve on the photos I've managed to take. A few weeks after my Trivan expedition, we decided to return to Snowdonia, this time bringing my good friend Jay with me. We decided to take on the mighty Egarn, which sits just across the valley from Trivan actually, and overlooks the Ogwin Valley. You can see Snowdon Massive from the top also, and you can see Anglesey out to the west. The views are truly spectacular, they really are. This particular occasion, we decided to do a circular hike and return down the Devil's Kitchen which is an extremely steep staircase, if you like, built into the cliff face, but it is such a spectacular walk back down to Llyn Idwal, which sits at the valley floor there and is spectacular in itself. There's so many photographic opportunities on this hike, but uh, having time to fit them all in in one day is not really possible. So return I will, and I can't wait to get back here. Some of the views across to the Glidders are also spectacular and uh, that's another mountain I definitely want to conquer in the Snowdonia range. So another first for me was wild camping in Snowdonia, something I've never done before. I've done a lot of wild camping in the Peak District, but never in Snowdonia. So it was really nice to do that for the first time this year. And we decided on an ascent of the mountain Connect, which is truly beautiful and such a stunning location. And it was really great to share the experience with Henry as well. And uh, if you're not familiar with Henry's channel, please do go and check him out. He's a fantastic YouTuber and yeah, he's got some great content on his channel. The hike up was particularly tricky actually, some very steep sections that we didn't really anticipate and it was all worthwhile though and the sunrise in the morning was just absolutely stunning, it really was. We completely looked out with uh, gorgeous, gorgeous conditions. I imagine in a strong wind it would be quite difficult camping up there, but literally as soon as the sun set that evening it was still as so. Such a rewarding day and night up there and the morning was spectacular too. So lastly, this is not so much an adventure, but just a great find, to be honest. And I've been looking for a woodland to take photographs in for some time now. And I really haven't found anywhere local to me. And it's something that I've, it's been ongoing. It's been an ongoing project. So I was really, really happy when I got to autumn this year and stumbled across this great location, which is only 45 minutes away from my house. So I was really pleased about that. And it offers so much potential, such a diverse woodland too oak trees, silver birch trees, we've got a lot of ferns as well as reed beds as well so very very diverse, a good mixture of trees to photograph in different conditions, there's a lot of reservoirs and lakes in the area too so yeah a whole bunch of stuff to shoot there so I'm really looking forward to being able to get back there a lot especially during spring next year, can't wait to be able to get there and shoot some more woodland photography so yeah, not so much an adventure this one, but just uh, such a rewarding find and something that I've been spending so much time on, trying to research and visited so many places through the year that just haven't really done it for me. But this place is truly special and I will be visiting here a lot more in the future.
I was really pleased too to be able to make a print from my first trip there and I was really really pleased with this image. The conditions were terrible, it was thrown down with rain but that's really what made this image work I feel. That separation in the background and the raindrops and the leaves just look truly special. So I hope you enjoyed my favourite adventure trips from 2019. I certainly did, it was very inspiring, each one of them in very different ways. Now we're going to take a quick look at your photographs from Instagram and uh, yeah, I really appreciate, like I said before, you hashtagging, it's great to see your images. So with that all being said guys, thank you so much once again, I uh, hope you uh, have a very healthy and prosperous 2020 and uh, maybe I'll bump into some of you out and about. I have done recently, bumped into a few guys in the Peak District that said they'd watch the channel, so that was really cool. So if you do see me about, please be sure to come over and say hello. And uh, yeah, it'd be great to have a chat with you. So yeah. Okay, guys, that's it. Please like, subscribe and share and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. Take care.